Welcome to Taurus Gemini to your Astro Dice reading for September. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you and your Astro Dice. What's going on this month? Best message for Taurus Gemini, please. Best message. Mercury. In the fifth house, talk about that love, things that you create, and... And with Aries energy coming out, guys. So we got that Mercury. We're feeling very communicative this month. Mm. Mercury. Mercury, Mercury. There we go. It's the way you think, communicate, write, talk, and travel this month. So we're talking about that fifth house in communication. Okay, so doing it with some Aries, wow, that's going to be some hot energy going on for you. <laughs> well, the Mercury coming in is good for you because you're really going to be able to get that Gemini going. That's their planet. So, you know, you're really going to feel like you can really communicate what you need to communicate. Think the way you need to think, um, not feeling any kind of brain fog, anything that might have been going on, holding your tongue back, things of like that, having, you know, but it's going to be done also this communication with dynamic spontaneous crusading impulsive action is likely so how are you going to communicate dynamically and spontaneous so there's going to be this power like i said it's like a powerhouse coming out of you guys with that fire energy um very powerful um <clears throat> but it, it, it has this kind of like spontaneous fun feeling um which is nice where you have fun, romance, and create things you are proud of. So, yeah. Getting into some fun over here is what it feels like. I feel this fun energy. It feels like it's spontaneous. It's just going to come out of nowhere. Maybe you're going to meet this person. You're going to have this awesome conversation um, just out of the blue, right? Just like, I don't know. And it doesn't have to be romance. It could be just fun in itself. Maybe you're having fun in romance. Um, maybe you're spontaneously, um, you know drawing something, creating something, and talking about it, right? Hey, you know what? I built this. Look what I built. Just taking a lot of fire and, and enthusiasm about it, right? Okay, so getting straight into the situation. Situation is taking place in the beginning of the month, middle of the month, and the end of the month. So in the beginning of the month, it's a little moderate you're taking your moderate time over here within the communication you're moderately having conversations at the beginning of the month so and it could be you know a little dynamic though right but it's harmonious um and this is a great card to come out um because it is showing that this communication is all about the harmony there's a lot of peace but you have this spontaneousness going on with it which therefore ooh, the strength it's giving you a lot of strength and a lot of confidence um, so whatever you're doing, whether you're writing, thinking, talking, traveling, whatever you're doing, there's this, this, um, courageous kind of piece to it. Maybe you feel like you're more open, more powerful. It's more dynamic in its own way, right? With the strength card. So I like that, but it's just kind of moderate though. It's just kind of chill, kick back, moderate, harmonious. Wow. And within the fifth house, it's talking about communication with other people. Look at that. So it's kind of like gatherings. You might be out celebrating, traveling, um, getting together with a gathering. It could be you and another, uh, a couple other friends. Um, it could be your loved one. You know, maybe you're even meeting this new one, uh, new loved one. Maybe they brought this person along and you're like, Hey, <laughs> who are you? Um, but it does feel like it's, there's a lot of joy and, um, happiness. Um, going off over here. Some of you might even be going to a party at Labor Day weekend. Woo, we're drinking and who's this new guy? <laughs> and who's this new guy? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wow. Hold on. Wait a minute. Everybody stop. <clears throat> I don't know. I just see that romance coming in for some of you, right? That just a lot of uh, commu great communication. Okay. 
but I really like that it's giving you the self-confidence to really want to get out there and do something fun. Um, and maybe you haven't had that self-confidence in a while, and maybe it's the self-confidence of meeting a new loved one um, at this celebration or whatever you're doing. Wow. Maybe it's just hanging out at someone's house. Giving you control. You do feel like you're con in control of the communication or whatever you're doing. Um, and it does, it makes you feel like you want to hold tight, want to stay in this energy of just being moderate, peaceful, um, and, uh, and harmonious. Yeah. And you're taking control of that. So it's almost like you're not going to allow anyone at this time in the beginning of the month to kind of get under your skin right now. Um, cause you're really in control of your emotions and just really wanting this it feels you guys like really, you just want this to stay right. You just like this feeling. This feeling is a good feeling right yeah because look you're not in your head there's no anxieties there's no dramas there's no nothing that's why you want to stay in control you're just feeling real good right now you're not thinking about anybody else or either any you know so with the strength card is the temperance so <laughs> they're definitely working on each other um you're having this inner confidence because you are you're it feels like the perfect timing it might be a time that you've been waiting for um just to kind of get out and feel good right have this feel good moment get away from the stresses of life um and that's yeah hey have some fun and really there we go moving into a direction of happiness and fun and really enjoying myself um for some of you you know you could be a road trip um, and yeah, that travel, I see the travel here. So for some of you, it's definitely a road trip for some of you. Look at this. I even see a boat. You guys could be at the lake, the river, the beach, having a good time. Oh my gosh. I see that. So yeah, road trip. Let's go to the, let's go to the river, take boat out. Yeah. And we're just drinking and having a good time and you know, oh my goodness. And it, it is, it's just spontaneous, dynamic fun. It's just like, let's go. For some of you, it might've been so spontaneous. It just like happened, right? Like, you know what? Let's go to the river. You know what? We're going to in five hours. You know what I mean? Get the boat ready. Could have been just out of the blue. So going straight to mid month, 10 of wands. I'm not going to try to be it. You know, there's a little under determination over here with the communication. Um, so you might not be feeling as communicative as you were, um, but you're still feeling great. And you might have this person around you who is just, um, just lovely, the imprints over here. And you're still feeling a little lovely. You're still feeling that dynamicness um, and the nurturing over here. But I feel like you have this person around you who's just lovely to talk with. You don't feel as determined as you did to be as spontaneous as you would like to, but it feels like this person is, and yeah, they want to still sit over here and really communicate with you. Um, it could be an Aquarius too. You know, it's kind of funny. If somebody was trying to hook you up over here, I don't know who this is for at a party or someplace. It could be anywhere. If this person's trying to hook you up, this Aquarius, I don't know. It just feels like the Aquarius is like, I got a boat. Let's go. Um, and here he is again, if he's trying to hook you up with this, uh, Taurus or this, um, Libra, it almost feels like you're kind of feeling a little underdetermined to really, you know, I don't know, to really communicate with this imprints. And it almost feels like this swords is kind of pushing you towards the imprints. I, I just feel like they're, no, man, you know, you want to be with her. Or him, right? I don't know. And they're nurturing you, and they're really cool and really fun. And I see the fun. You know, the Empress is really fun, and they, they're nurturing and fun, and they got prosperity, and it just feels like you're kind of just, eh, not really looking for that right now. That's for some of you, and for some of you, you're underdetermined to go towards the Empress. Um, maybe you're not. Maybe you don't, you know, you're just not sure. I don't know. It's like this unsurety. Interesting. There's a lot of communication still going on. It just feels like you're not as communicative as you were before. So clarify on the Ten of Wands. Why is there this underdetermined? I'm not sure. Just feels like you have somebody coming towards you. You're just not sure if you want to be with that person. It's 
you're not up for the challenge. I'm not feeling up to the challenge right now. It just feels like you're just having a good time, maybe just being alone for a lot of you. I just feel like mid month, like you just kind of want to just kind of chill. You're just not feeling as dynamic and you know and spontaneous as you were in the beginning of the month. Um, you're just kind of nurturing yourself, but it does feel like you have this other person, yeah. Yeah. And the truth is, is I think this inference is coming towards you. <laughs> And you can clearly see that they're that they want to be with you. You're just kind of under. Uh, I'm not sure. And you can kind of clearly see that maybe they're also kind of. If you have this other person, they're kind of pushing you towards you. If not, then you can clearly see that this inference is really maybe they're taking on the dynamicness right now. It's almost like you guys switched roles. It's kind of crazy. And there's a lot of communication, no matter what. <clears throat> and they're trying to communicate with you. Yeah, but you feel underdetermined to really get into really taking this kind of offer, this love offer, guys. I just feel like you're happy being where you are right now or you're just not really interested in this person at this moment. It doesn't mean it's, you're the queen of wands. You're just feeling creative, fun. Um, I don't really, you're using your own intuition. I see you just kind of just being happy where you are because it feels like where the strength is and the courage is to go out and have fun and be spontaneous. You have this queen of wands coming in saying, well, I'm just kind of being the same person over here, but I'm not really looking for this right now. Uh, maybe I don't know you well enough and I need more information or something of this nature. I'm not really 100% interested, but they're really trying to get to you, but there's this underdetermination to want to, um, Take this love offering at this time in the middle of the month. Maybe you're still trying to get to know them. I don't know. It's just, look at that. You're just not in a challenge mode right now. You're just kind of chilling. Huh. The star upside down with the communication with the new cycle of the world. You have the ace of swords. Still a lot of communication. I don't see that you think that with the communication with this person that you see any hopes and promises or real things with this person. It was kind of like maybe one of those things like we all had fun and that was great and all, but maybe there was um, not somebody that you're really interested in. That's what it really looks like with the star upside down is like, I don't think that this relationship, you know, is really for me, right? Because it's exhausted. I don't, you know, really want to waste my time because I, you know, I don't really, I don't know. I just don't see anything with them. I think it was something, I think you sparked their attention and you were all this Aries attention. And I think that, uh, you know, you went out there, you were awesome and you sparked someone's attention that you're not really 100% interested in. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, you just feel like it's a bad judgment call. Maybe you guys don't have enough in common. You know, if you were drinking and having a good time, maybe everybody was doing this and that, you sparked their attention. But, you know, it's like now we're all sober and, yeah, you were a great friend to go hang out with, but that was just not for me. Um, yeah, not recognizing them. Queen of Swords, just kind of doing yourself over here just kind of staying calm and cool. You do have a new cycle coming in with the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Swords is this commitment. To the Page of Swords. Oh. Okay, for some of you, you have this person over here. Wow, that just changed that you're looking at someone else. Was that the whole point to begin with? Was it you're either in a committed relationship with a Gemini or a Libra or you like that you want to be in a Gemini? Wow. Okay, so here we go over here. We have a third party situation over here that's going on with like the three of you. Take it how it resonates, guys. If the story doesn't resonate, you have your own story, right? Throw it away. But this is also what could be going on as I look at this. This inference could be like, wow, you were amazing over here, Taurus Gemini, and I think you're so awesome. And then you're still communicating with the King of Swords. The inference over here, who could be this other Taurus or uh, Libra, um, is like, hey, you know what? So it could have two different air signs. It could even be a Leo, though, too, right? <laughs> could be anybody. But what I'm saying is you sparked, look, you were so dynamic. I think you sparked two people's attention. 
So it's like this other person you're not interested in and you're still communicating with the King of Swords. In the end, it's like you don't see anything going on with this Libra over here, who's this Empress. But you are watching this Aquarius. I'm going to call it Aquarius because it looks like there's a lot of air going on over here. So you're more interested in this Aquarius over here, not giving any time or day to the Libra. And you want all these new things with them. And you're kind of like ghosting a little bit the, uh, the Libra so that you can have new beginnings because you clearly understand that the committed relationship that you would like to be with would be with this Aquarius. Wow. Alrighty, uh, that's what it looks like. Okay, for others of you, it could be that it looks like a third party situation because you sparked someone's attention out on when you were partying with the girls or the boys or whatever, but you're already in a committed relationship. So you're like, hey, Empress, go away. I'm already in a committed relationship. I've already got a boyfriend. You know, or I'm married or whatever the point is, right? You could have sparked their attention and just had a good time, however, right? But you're, yeah, it's crazy because you're moving forward with your already committed relationship or this new committed relationship that you want with the Aquarius. Wow, that was crazy, guys. But it's all because of this airy, spontaneous stuff that it just like, like, pew, 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 pew. it's like sparks of lightning, right? But it just feels like you're catching everybody's attention. That's, that's the point. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> okay. So take that how that resonates because, yeah, that's literally, yeah, how that, that's going to work. And that's why you would be underdetermined was because you don't want this other person's attention. Either you already have someone or you want the Aquarius's attention. That's really what it's coming down to. Okay. <laughs> and great with the communication. Um, it's going to be one of them months, so... Enjoy and have a great month, my friends. Bye-bye.